guys, so ignore the crazy thing hair right now. I decided to do a get ready with me and I wanted to put my hair up in some hot curlers. So I am using the um, Big Curls by Conair. Um, my hair is really short so it didn't take very many but I just plug this in, let this warm up and then put them in my hair. And now I'm going to do my makeup. So at the end, I will show you how it looks afterwards. I hope it looks okay. I haven't ever done it with my hair this short, so we'll see. Um, but first, I'm starting out with the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. I hope I said that correctly. I am in love with this palette. It is absolutely amazing. The pigmentations are wonderful. This is definitely my new favorite palette for this month. So you'll definitely probably be seeing it in my favorites video. But I love this palette. Um, I haven't tried out any highlights, so maybe I will do that today. But it is wonderful. I love the eyeshadow. So I'm going to start with the eyes first. And then we'll move on to the rest of the face, which I probably won't show um, because my foundation, all that's going to be the same that I always do. So if you guys want to do see that routine, the routine, I will probably be doing an updated one here soon. It has changed a little bit. But it's basically the same as my last one, which I will link down below here. So first, I'm starting out with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. to my tops of my cheekbones. That's really pretty. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring that down my nose. I'm going to be using the Laura Geller in Baked Gelato in Cantaloupe. I'm going to be taking my Artiste brush and just using this to apply it to my cheeks. Nothing too intense since we're going with such an intense eye look and lip. Well, the lip's not that intense. Just something more natural. So I'm going back in with the Carly Bible palette. And I'm going to be taking those shades that I used in the beginning of the video and just applying this one and this one to my lower lash line. And I really like the way this look turned out. I've done this look the last couple of days, ever since, honestly, the first time I tried this palette. I've been using it every day since then. Um, but I did them this, like, kind of exact look, but more subtle. So you could obviously, like, tone it down and not do so dark um, around your eyes and stuff if you wanted to do... Sorry, my nose is itching. If you wanted to do for like more of a daytime look, um, I've been doing that, but I wanted to see this more intensified, and I really wanted to do this look since I was going out tonight. 
I'm going to apply that darkest. It's a green shade, but it's really, really dark. I'm going to apply that on the outer sides. And then we're going to take that same shadow that we used earlier for the lid and apply that to the inner corners. Then I'm going to go in and do a dark shade on, on the bottom lash line. And then I'm also going to do a little wing liner on the top and apply some of these BH Cosmetics lashes. So I will be back after I get all of that done and I will show you the lip color that I'm picking for today. This is the finished look. I really do like the way it turned out. I like these lashes a lot. I like how smoky it is. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish my lip and I'm using my Bella Mir um, Cinnamon Lip Liner. This I got in a BoxyCharm on Ipsy Bag. I believe it was the BoxyCharm one. But yes, this had to be my boxy charm because it's full size in my Ipsy. I got one at the same time and they were close to the same color. My Ipsy would have been a trial, so that's boxy charm. I really do like it. Um, then I'm going in with my Laced by Melt Cosmetics. And then I decided I wanted a little bit more glossy lip look, so I'm going in with this by Sephora. And this is very pink, like in the tube, but it's not so pink when you apply it. It's kind of more clear. Just to help tone down that dark lip a little bit. And now let's remove these curlers and see what happened. But I really like these big curlers. Um, this is the only set I have. They're all large. For like, when my hair is longer, it works really, really well. Ah! Now it just kind of helps give it some a little bit of curl to it. A lot of body though, which... So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.